how easy do you find it when you're by yourself for extended periods of time to start getting the very negative mindsets and very negative behaviors in your thinking and your actions and so on as peter writes to this the people of god who've been scattered and they've been isolated in a different way to us but there was, was because of persecution ours is because of the virus he knows what it's like and the temptations that they're going to face and we saw as he encouraged them to be holy as god is holy and to love each other with a sincere heart uh, because of the imperishable word that's been planted in them. He knows that there's real practical things that he needs to tell them about holiness, about what it means. And, and he has a list of things to put off and put on, like in so many of Paul's letters as well. Today, we're just going to look at the negative, the stuff that really we find tempting during isolation. Let's have a look. We're in 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 1. Therefore, rid yourselves of all malice and all deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and slander of every kind. Like newborn babies, crave pure spiritual milk, so that by it you may grow up in your salvation, now that you have tasted that the Lord is good. That's an interesting little list, isn't it? Uh, and how easy are all those things when you're just sitting by yourself uh, or just with the same couple of people and uh, you start, uh, the, the things can be festering inside us, can't they? Malice, that evil thinking towards other people uh, wanting the worst for them and maybe even planning it. Um, uh, deceit, we, we can lie uh, in to ourselves. Uh, we can lie on Facebook as we communicate with others and tell everyone how wonderful everything is and how wonderful it's all going. Or the other way, we can be really negative and forget to be thankful, and so we deceive ourselves and, and deceive other people in that way and only whinge. Uh, hypocrisy, uh, pretending everything's okay to everyone around uh, in terms of our spiritual life and our devotion to God. Uh, and uh, envy, uh, thinking that someone else has got it better in the house next door or house around the road or the people I've heard about at church or that everything seems to be set together and they've got all the supplies and and just wanting their life and not being satisfied and thankful to God and slander. Uh, that is, we can start thinking about other people and as we uh, you know, consider them and stuff, thinking the worst and then communicating that to others. Uh, having a go at the government, at our leaders, at whoever it might be around, that someone, someone somewhere has done something evil and, and how mean they are and whatever they've done. And so there really is a list of things that uh, are very tempting, aren't they, when we're isolated. And what Peter's telling us is that in order to be holy as our God is holy and to love with a sincere heart because of the imperishable word that's in us, that we've really got to take active step. He says, get rid of those things. Get rid of the malice. Get rid of the deceit. Get rid of the hypocrisy. Get rid of the envy. Get rid of the slander. That is, we've got to take active steps. And how do you take those steps? Well, I think first of all is to acknowledge that they're going on your heart, whichever one it might happen to be, or some of them, or all of them even, uh, and how negative we can become. Uh, and the second thing is to bring it to God, of course to pray to him, to say, God, I, I acknowledge that this is a reality of my heart, that there is evil in there. Uh, Father, please forgive me, right, and change me. Uh, so it's not just, I want forgiveness, I want to be changed, that these things won't be a reality. In fact, the things that are coming up in, in the, next, uh, the next little section we'll see tomorrow uh, will be a reality. And, but also, he says, a way of combating these things is to crave pure spiritual milk so that by it you may grow up in your salvation now that you've tasted that the Lord is good. So that is desire the good things of God, his word, his people and stuff and and soak yourselves, while you got, especially while you're isolated, soak yourself in his word and in prayer. Uh, crave those things, want them, desire them, yearn for them so that you might grow up even though it might be hard work at times, getting stuck into the Bible, and uh, it does take work at times. There are, there are parts of the Bible that are harder or just uh, seem like more boring. It's, it's harder to get to application, but that's okay. You crave it and want it and pursue it, uh, and, and it, it will stop you doing these things that we're told to get rid of. Get rid of malice, deceit, hypocrisy, envy, slander of every kind, and crave the things of God. 
crave pure spiritual milk, crave the things that are going to build your soul, help you grow up in your salvation, help you grow up towards maturity in Christ and, uh, and, and serve God in all holiness and love. Uh, let me leave you with those thoughts this morning. Maybe ask you the question, which one of these do you think you're struggling with at the moment? Or is it something else that he hasn't listed here uh, that you think, well, that's the thing that's really getting to me and I've really let go and I've got to bring that to God? Well, let's pray. Father, we want to thank you for your word that is so incisive into our situation that you understand is completely and we pray, please, that we wouldn't live with these things of malice and envy and slander and deceit and hypocrisy and so on and slander. That you'd help us to get rid of them. Help us to uh, get rid of all the sins that might be infesting our minds and our hearts and our lives at the moment. Help us not to pretend with you and pretend with others. Help us to tell the truth. Uh, and help us also to be, remember to be thankful in all this. And we pray that we'd be people who bring everything to you in prayer uh, and thanksgiving. And we pray that you'd change our hearts, that we might crave this pure spiritual milk. Change us so that we might desire the things of God. Change us so that we might desire to get into your word and grow up. Help us to grow into maturity in Christ. In Jesus' name we pray and for his glory, our King and Saviour. Amen. And God bless everyone. Catch you again tomorrow.